I'm in love with fishing, and fishing's what I do. And if you wanna try them up, I'll take you fishing too. Maybe in the morning, in the day, or at night. It don't really matter, I just wanna get that bite. We may catch a limit, or maybe just a few. But even if the fish don't bite, just being out here will do. We may fish the ocean or a river running free. And if you catch the biggest one, it'll be alright by me. Yes, I'm in love with fishing and fishing in my life. So grab your phone and go with me. This is the life of a fisherman. Why? Let's go pull them in. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, this is your girl Linda with the life of a fisherman wife. Uh, we have some bad news. My uh, husband, fisherman's Ed, brother passed away. So we had to come down to a funeral. So um, before we made it to the funeral, we decided to come down to see some favorite lakes that my husband used to uh, fish at. And I want you all to see this because this right here was amazing to us. Um, and this is my fishing Ed right here. <laughs> Hell, you know, he's the man that I do it with all the time. Uh, but we want you all to see this right here. I'm going to flip the Look at this. You see all this land? All this land you see was water. And honey, what lake is this? This is uh, Grenada Lake in uh, Grenada, Mississippi. See where that tire is? All, we was down here one year, and first I can see, you could see water. Let um, me see, can I spread you out a little bit? Uh, you see where those rocks are over there? Yeah. Those rocks right there, let me get you smaller a little bit. Those rocks right there, you see the darkest parts of the rock? That's where the water was resting. And now look at it. Here's the boat ramp. Yeah, here's the boat ramp. Yeah, I keep playing with y'all. Y'all gonna be mad. But that's the boat ramp right there. You see it? So, you know, in order for this to be the boat ramp, you have to slide your boat down. So, I am pretty sure water was halfway up this little ramp right here. But I don't know if you can see where the water is now. Way out there. But that's where the water starts at, way out there. This is how low the water is. You all see, it's just different. I know we've been away for a while, but it looks like it's about to dry up. I guess they just have not been getting any rain. Yeah, well, we're gonna go to another part of this lake and we'll let you all know what we find then. This is Fishing Ed's favorite place to fish at in Grenada Lake. It is down from a dam. As you can see, it's not only his favorite place, but a lot of other fishermen's favorite place. Here is Fishing Ed here. Um, he just threw out. Uh, we got the white pelicans in the water. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if they like the one that's in South Carolina that big you for fish. I don't know, but they're cute. I mean, they look better than the one that was in South Carolina. Look at them. Um, but they usually say if pelicans are in the water, the fish are plentiful. So how true that is, I don't know. And if you can see right there, that is the dam. Uh, the water is flowing pretty strong out of the dam. Uh, and that brings fish in also uh, If you can see let me see can I find it? Uh, let me see In the rocks over here. Oh really? Okay, uh, I was gonna try to get that fish that's in the rocks But let's let's see what he got down here Yeah, he, he has caught something Let's see what he got It's turning up. You see it? Oh, there it is. And guys, they're leaving fish on the bank. I don't know what he got. I think that's the 
I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. If, I hope he lifts it up and not just let it stay down there in the rocks. Come on, man. Pick him up for me. Okay, I'll go over there to him next. Oh, he threw it back in the water. He didn't even raise it up. So he has one right here. And the green hat right there. He has one. And right next door to him. So they must have the premium spots. Oh, what, what, what is it, Edward? Right there. Yeah, I got one. You got one too? Oh. This, shad. Fishing Aid has a shed. Shad. Oh, I can't find you. There you go. He got a little tiny shad. Good catfish bait. He said good catfish bait. Well, yeah. So, we'll see. No, because they stink. They smell really bad when you leave them on the bank. I don't know why people does that. A lot of them you see that fish? Them. There he is, right there. You see him? Yeah, uh, that's, that's a he said that's a buffalo. No, that's, no, oh. right there. This dead. That's a buffalo. Oh yeah, right there. He said a guy down there caught a um, a white bass. So we'll let you all know what we catch today, if anything. But it's a pretty day out today. The sun is shining. Uh, in my face, which is very nice to get some vitamin D today because you know when you stay in the north you get very little vitamin D So yeah, with the sunshine, it feels very nice. We'll update you all later Nah, we just got here about 10 minutes ago Fish and Ed just got here. Look what he caught A little baby catfish. We gonna eat him, honey? No <laughs> Yes, we are. You're going to eat a nugget. No, they ain't even a nugget there. That's not a nugget. No, you see that right there? Those will tear you up. Those little fins there and those ones right there, they real sharp. They will hurt. You need to get them back. All right, get them back. I was just kidding. I don't want to eat the little baby anyway. But if he was big enough, I ain't going to lie. I love myself some catfish. Catfish is good. I don't like them too big, but you know, of course that one's too small. I like them like in a medium size because the really big ones are kind of fatty. So I like them like medium sized catfish and, and uh, on flavor because they can have an off flavor taste and it tastes like mud almost. So yeah, I have a great recipe for, for catfish. So uh, if we catch some catfish, you'll see how you can cook this great tasting catfish it's blackened catfish with grits yeah it's pretty tasty look at the pelicans they're coming closer and closer to us i don't know if they waiting over us to throw fish back out there or what but yeah first i can see you can see pelicans look at that they're flying look I'm okay with them flying, just since they don't fly on my head, because you know, they like to drop stuff in your hair and stuff, give you some hair decoration. And I don't like that kind of hair decoration. Look, don't be flying over me. Y'all, y'all keep it going, keep it pushing. I'm good. But it's gorgeous out here today. It's a little smelly. <laughs> Look, cause like I say, people are just throwing fish that they don't want out the water. They're just leaving them here. And you know, they rot. I don't know why it's that legal or why they can do that, but they are. He has something right there. I don't know what it is. I would look. It's not like his luck. He been snapping fish all over here, getting them off his side. Oh, what is that? They're like a catfish, honey. Uh -huh. Yeah, it did. Like he said he looked like a white bag. Uh, oh, I guess it was a white bag. But they're about the size of catfish I eat. Huge down there too. Tell him to throw one down here on your hook because that's the oh. only way you're going to catch one. <laughs> like that dude in South Carolina said. 
you guys I keep going to these pelicans over here because I've been watching them and every now and again you'll see them dip their head down and then you'll see something go down their throat see did you see it did you see it, it oh he thought he had something all of them trying to fight over the same little fish too oh he has a big catfish oh yeah he does can you see him down there y'all we just need one or two catfish that's all right there there he is let me see if I can get you all closer. Look. See, I eat them that size too. Is he gonna keep him? If he gonna keep him, I might need to yell down there. Hey! You like that lady that was in South Carolina. Big and worse than the Pelicans was. I think he's gonna keep him. But I wouldn't ask for him that way. <laughs> yep, he gonna keep him. He take him up the hill. Look how he look at him. He got that proud look on his face at work. See that guy with the purple mask on down here? He was just sitting beside us and he wasn't catching anything. He left and went down a little bit further and he just caught one big crappie and he's getting another one where? The dude in the green hat, he took a big crappie. The old dude in the green hat a big crappie. We need to be a little bit closer. What he got, Edward? He got it out. Is that another crappie? Yep, it is. Must not be because he threw him back on. The other one he kept. So yeah, we need to be a little bit closer. Yeah. Just a little bit closer. They go down about a dude with the green hat, huh? It's a lot of space between them. You going down right there. You ain't going to do no more if I don't get a handful of cheese. Okay. That's all we have in luck with a shad. That's it. I don't know if he ain't got his lip fixed right. Or he ain't thinking about me enough to get me some catfish or crappies. I don't know. What is it, Edward? They don't like me. They say I've been away too long. You've been away too long? Yep. Three years since I've been here. So, okay. So it's been too long for them. You lost your magic touch. You need to go back down up north somewhere. No, that's all right. They're going to give it back to them. I just got to go get the right stuff. Okay. Well, you might need to go ahead and get it now. Your shad died. I don't think they can stand being caught. See, I mean, he can, he, oh, he got off. He had just got another share. I mean, he can catch those. If they was edible, we'll have a meal by now. He said somebody down there got another one. Oh, he does. Huh? That's a catfish? See, we need to go down there. I, I keep telling this man, you need to stop being polite. Fishing Ed has a bite already. Hope he can get it in. See that pole how it's shaking? Hope we can get it in. Look, I said we, I don't know what it is. Cause he got a six pound test. Uh, let's see what it is. What is it? He got his mouth open y'all. <laughs> That's it, he saw what it was. So the mouth came open in excitement. Oh, then he lip tooted. it. He was like, nah, that's not what I thought it was. What is it, honey? He's not too excited about it because if it was, he'll be getting it. I thought it was crappy, but it's a white bag. You gonna keep him? Huh? Did you say somebody liked the those? Yeah, a ladybug like this. You wanna get the cool? Okay, it's in the car. Okay. You gonna show them the white bass? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. In Wisconsin, I don't catch white bass this big. But this is a good size one. All right, I'm trying to get you small, baby, so we can, there he is. He may look small, but that's, that's uh, how many pounds you think it is? Oh, I don't, I don't know by pounds, but probably, I don't know, 12, 13 inches. Okay. All right, we're going to get the cooler and see, can we catch some more? 
people are on top of the dam and they are catching fish. Do you see this guy right here? That guy right there? He just got one. Well, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a catfish, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Let's see what he pulls up. He's smiling, so he must like it. Ah, uh, like a striped bass. That's what it looks like. Uh, but look at this right here. A bucket full of catfish, you guys. And in the back of this truck, there's a that red truck right there. There is a, a cooler full of catfish. I really love some of those little bad boys. <laughs> so, Big Ed moved to the spot closest to the dam. If I didn't mention, this is Grenada Lake. And this is one of his favorite lakes down south where he has always been able to catch crappies and stuff. But the water is very low. As you saw earlier on in the video, how low the, the uh, water is. So this is a size catfish, maybe a little bigger than this right here, but that is a nice size catfish right there to eat to me. Uh, when they get, you know, those giant catfish, it's a little too fatty for me. So I'm gonna show you what he's doing. You want a white? You want a white, hon? So this is what he's doing. He is, um, that is the dam right there. So you can hear the water flowing. So he's taking his pole, slinging it underneath the dam, and he's snatching the line. Not, they're not biting, he's actually snagging. That is what you call snagging fish. It is legal, un it is legal underneath the dam. There has been so many catfish caught today. You got one? Oh, I think he got one. I think he got a nice size one too. Let's see. He might need some help. Oh. <laughs> see how that pole is bent up there? Let's see what he's gonna come out with. That's why that current is moving so fast and make it feel bigger than what it is. I know. He said he can get in. Did he come off? Yep. He broke his line. Oh, he came off. Uh, Ed has another one. He got off again. You all. Uh, look look at the face. Look at the face. <laughs> you can just see that disappointment in that face every time he moves one. Baby, you don't have your mouth fixed right. You know how you fix your mouth. Fix your mouth right. <laughs> That's what it is. You don't have his mouth fixed right. But the catfish are plentiful. Uh, a lot of people are catching them down here again. We're at Lake um, Grenada Lake in Mississippi. This is one of the lakes that my husband normally fish at when he comes to Mississippi. And I always have a lot, a lot of luck. Maybe if I keep you all alone, maybe you all his luck. Because every time I be talking to you all, he get one. And then, you know, he loses it. So maybe he know I want that catfish dinner tonight. That's what he would, that's what he know. He, he know I want that fresh catfish dinner, Mr. Davis. You know, he's playing like he don't hear me now. Look at him. He say he trying. You need to try harder for my catfish dinner. You guys, he got another one. I don't want him to know that I'm filming him because I think he get a little nervous now. And I think he loses them. So, I'm talking low so he won't hear me. So, let's see. Where he get him up? See that pole? It is bent. So that means he does have a fish. Coming down this way. Is it big? You need a net? You want me to ask that for help? Huh? You want? He said he got a Mr. You know, Mr. Man right here. I think he he, he all of that in a bag of chips. See, now that's a nice size one. That, that is, the, that is a, a average size fish that I would eat right there. Why is his guts coming out? Oh. But yeah, I would eat him. That is about the size that I would eat. He's been hooked before. See all those hooks in? Oh. He's been hooked before. They probably wanted one that got away from you. 
No, I was just I was just teasing, honey. I know. That's good eating sign right there. It is. <laughs> you had it. <laughs> <laughs> don't want no YouTube gore. No, oh, no, we don't want no YouTube gore. He has another one, guys. Let's see where he get this one. You are, I cannot explain the feeling that you get when you uh, catch a fish. When that, when that pole bent over like that. And that line is tugging in your hand. If you are a true fisherman, you know what that feels like. It is. And see, this is what they do. This this is what brings people together. Uh, people help each other. And if I break his ACC crop, it's think I'm gonna, he's gonna break my butt real fast. So, but yeah, this is what they do. They just come up and they help each other. See, this is what he's doing. He said, "Man, I got, I got, I got you, man. I got you." All right, let me get my butt out of the way. Let me get his pole out of the way. Y'all excuse all this going on here. Let me get my butt out of the way. Did he come off? He came off. Oh, man. Guys, uh, my phone is about to die. Uh, I didn't charge it last night. So uh, we'll probably show you what he catch at the end of this video. Hopefully we get more than two um, catfish and one striped bass. I, right now, that's all we have. Hopefully we get more than that. But if we don't, I guess I won't be having that catfish dinner tonight. Two catfish is good enough to eat for you? He said two catfish is good enough to eat for me. But we got a family. He know that. We in Mississippi. I got sisters down here. He know they like catfish too. But anyway. Oh, he said that I told him to catch me enough, not for my sisters. He said he's trying to feed his wife. That's it. <laughs> he said they get theirs if he get the overflow. But right now he's worried about wife because wife, that's what wife wants. I ain't mad at him, y'all. <laughs> that's what the husband's supposed to do. But anyway, this is the life of a fisherman wife. And uh, I'm asking you to right now to stop, like this, this comment, Shoot me a few comments. Of, you know, if you like us, what, what are we doing? You know, are we entertaining to you or not? What, you know, what's going on? Let your girl know. Let Fish and Ed know what we're doing. And make sure you hit that notification. So when I up later, upload another video, you will be notified of my videos when I have uploaded a new video. Um, and please, family, make sure you make tomorrow better than your today. Peace. See you later. Now that fishing's over, sun is getting low. Yes, I caught a big one, I just had to let him go. Yes, it was a nice one, the biggest of the day. Show felt mighty good to me just to watch him swim away. May not ever see him again, this I know is true. But now that he is swimming free, you might catch him too. Glad you came along with me, sure was very nice. Maybe we can go again on the life of a fisherman's wife. Till next time.